What's going on guys? Swing Timber Outdoors and today we're going to test the Fishing Sur Portable Fish Finder. Today we're going to toss it in some moving water, try and get a gauge of what it looks like moving across. And I'm going to show you guys what I see, hopefully, on the Fish Finder. So Tyler's going to toss it in some moving current here. We'll see if we can't get a good grip. What we have is, it's moving through and it says we're about a meter and a half deep. And so on our fish finder, I could change it, but that's our bottom right there. And as it goes over that spot that we're at right now, if you notice, it starts to drop off a little bit. It says one meter, it goes up. Now it's a little sh shallower, shallower. Now we're in a little back eddy that slowed down, so our changing of depths a little different. We're getting us more constant reading. Pretty cool little product. I would say it definitely rivals the deeper. Um, one of the things I like about it a lot is that it has a separate handheld device that's super bright and very colorful compared to my cell phone, which I don't like taking out on the boat. So having something like this around your neck or you know having it around your neck when you're walking down the creek is a little easier than taking out my phone you know and and trying to make sure that i don't get that wet i uh have gone through too many phones trying to use apps and pictures to take pictures of things so um cool little product you, i'm going to change sensitivity to be a little uh a little smaller because i want to see more of it and we're going to keep trying to get some cool readings on some some drifts because i want to make sure that when we fish this when it's a little deeper we get a good understanding of what the bottom structure looks like. So we're gonna keep poking at this. Catch you guys on the flip side, tight lines, and we're out. Mm-hmm.